to whiskey, straight up. And now your host, Derek. Welcome to the show. I've heard some really great things about 1792 High Rye Whiskey. I've yet to try it, so I got my hands on a bottle. I honestly can't wait to taste this one for you all. Before I get into the whiskey, I want to say that this episode is sponsored by no one. <laughs> That's correct. So please stop by our shop and check out our merch. It helps pay the bills. I've got to admit it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of 1792 Distillery. The small batch didn't really do it for me. The single barrel, I mean, sometimes it can be decent if it's a good pick. Foolproof just drinks way too hot for me. Um, for the 125 uh, proof point, it's just, it, it kind of burns my tongue. Um, so needless to say, I've had some disappointments with 1792. But I always try to go into every review without anything clouding my judgment. So let's talk about this bottle. So 1792 High Rye is not easy to find. Um, so I do have to thank my friend Cody for getting this into my hands. Let's talk about the whiskey a little bit. So 1792 uh, does not like to do age statements. They also don't like to tell you what the mash bill is. We do know that it's a higher rye. Um, and I think it's got to be at least four years. So uh, and I think actually someone told me this might be like an eight year whiskey, but that may have also just been the first batch they ever did. It comes in at 94.3 proof and the MSRP, uh, it's kind of hard to judge this one because it's all over the place where you, wherever you go. I think it's meant to be 40 bucks, but 40 to 50, I think is where uh, you'll see it if you can find it at retail, but I don't know anyone that's finding the high rye for retail. So we don't know the mash or the age. This whiskey is basically a mystery. So it's time to solve it. All right, so let's take a look at the color. I'm going to say it's got kind of an amber red-ish color. Um, I think pe people refer to this as like rust, but to me, it's just an amber with like a red hue to it. I mean, it looks really nice. It's pretty oily, so it's sticking to the sides of the glass pretty well, and it's got thick legs coming down. I mean, yeah, it looks like a solid whiskey. It's a little oily thicker viscosity and uh the color is not bad all right let's nose it you see that's so many things from 1792 that i was not a fan of and that nose just smells fantastic it's it's just a sweet regular bourbon um There's some cinnamon there, but there's also a heavy dose of like vanilla, caramel. There's not a lot of rye spice. So I'm going to guess that even though it says high rye, it's probably closer to like, I don't know, 20%, maybe even a little lighter than that. Who knows? I could be wrong on that. It could be up to 25 maybe, but that just doesn't smell like it's got a lot, a lot of rye in it. Yeah, it's just sweet which is nice. There's no offending odors in here whatsoever. I kind of <laughs> kind of like this. Yeah, a little bit of honey maybe. Um, you know, the sweetness. It's probably not so much sugar. More like a syrupy honey. Maybe a little maple in there. Yeah, like a really good Mrs. Like Butterworths or something. Like buttery maple syrup. Wow, that was a journey. Okay, so let's taste it. Okay, so first initial tasting. It's got really great notes up front and then it just finishes like a dud. It just disappears from my palate. Let's try it again. This is my first pour of the night. And that nose is really good. Yeah, up front. It's very like syrup-like, like maple syrup-like. It's really good. And the finish is sticking around a little bit longer than the first sip, but... It's not, it doesn't have staying power. 
I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, that that's it's probably a medium finish, maybe a little short. You know, there's a little bit of it's a little bit of burn that's that lingers after, but honestly, I'll give it one more shot before I say what I was gonna say. Yeah, there's nothing that I dislike about this other than the finish. So I would say that the nose matches the palette. It's got some great notes in there. There's a little bit of brown sugar, but I think honestly I'm getting a lot of maple syrup. It's not a high proof. You know, 94.3 is not going to knock your socks off. It's just kind of right in that nice spot where it's like, a little bit of the ethanol burn, but not much. It's not going to offend you. I like it. It coats your mouth. Maybe maybe the High Rye 1792 is a little bit more my style, but I'm honestly enjoying this. I wish it had a little bit more staying power, a little bit more uh, something with the finish, but if I'm being honest, I'd probably keep this on my bar, and I probably would enjoy it often um, and kill the bottle pretty quickly. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's good. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to, I don't want to beat a dead horse. So yeah, I think if I found it, um, I'm not going to say that I would pay huge secondary money for it, but I found it for, if I found it for like a, like a hundred or less, I'd probably, I'd probably pick it up. Anything more than that. There's too many things in that proof range that have much better flavor that are much cheaper. So with that in mind, like going over a hundred, like, yes, it's a pretty bottle and the redesign since, uh, they changed it to 1792 is, is it's a sexy bottle. So, um, it'd be nice to keep it on the shelf and to say I have it, but honestly, anything more than that. And I'd probably leave it on the shelf. So, so if you've got your own opinions about this whiskey, drop a comment because I'd be interested to know if you have the same issue with the finish as I do and if you enjoy it as much as I did up front. That brings us to the end of the show. Please remember, hit that subscribe button and as always, drink responsibly. Cheers. Cheers.